Imani ba mugish. Murasanez. May God bless you guys. Look good. Murasanez a muingu. You guys look good. Chwele kwa mugish. Bana sifiwe. Hallelujah. Tuwe zimani chwa. Hallelujah. Let us give glory to God with our hands. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ha! Ha! Kwanga tuwe tama boko kubga yesu. Bana sipiwe. Hallelujah! Mugiri kiki, nugumurege re sebe na hani. Mufa, turaba na bima. We are children of God. Kari yaba nuba tegu gitera na ngi kitwa tuaje. Iba ze uri mbere ya papa. Uki giro mono mura kari mbere ya papa. Umono washishu. Amen. Umono. Hari banga rimwe wa Kristo twayobewe. Urashobora ku mu Kristo mwiza. Ukazoja no mwinjo. Ugabukora ibintu byawe neza. Ariko Satani akaza akaguhisha ko kandi ko kuba umwana w'Imana. Kaza wigira umuntu. Hari ibintu buratu kuko ako kantu utakamenya. Hari byo utagera. Utange kigira 10 neza. Utera na neza. Uzoja mwisho. Akaba ma opportunity ubura gusa kuko. Utata we akantu ko kumva ngo Imana ni papa. Ujya mwana wikirara ndamukunda. I love that child. Iwe ata wijo bangarava ngo Ziguri pa, kusa kupita zisa kama mugi rangu mizanz, nukwari ata uye kuaris. He knew the secret that that was his father, so he went back and said, "You are my father." Nukwari abita araba ngo kuri pa mizanz ngi. He said, "Because you are my father, give me mine." Kiko ya kakuja ba bita miza na uya rafitu uvi, nuki ge ya karutse, ya bi esengwe se, kumeri kwa bagi e uyu. And the son that they called You are a good child. But the Hallelujah. Let us give, let us raise our hands. Take the secret that you are a child of God. Take the secret that you are a child of God. Things will be easy. If you are a child of God, if you are a child of God, then you say you are a child of God. You are a child of God. What you say? You are a child of God. 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 Mereka mabiri, tu sa. Ure amga ni ge ya 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 mazeku sangira ni nguru akun fabira ans. Yara vuzengo re kan suvi re kwa apa. Pwasa agore hi zina jubgan. Kuko na aftena ba kozi bararji. Angu ya vuzi bin. Yara vuzengo wasi ni kure hi zina. Ya yiku ya opposition. Ni kure hi zina jubgan. Fumembo mukos. Aiki saramu girango. Oracha aruna. When the prodigy son returned, he told his father, "I'll be a servant." Chaka ko tuge guko meri mana mash. We are going to clap for the Lord. Ayo ayo na yo na yo nari naravu. Ari kono na ayo kwa teke rejo. No fiti firim. Ayo vuz prime ni bumbu. Anyone who has a whistle, please. 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 Bring your whistles. They're not expensive. Tura ko meri mana mash. A mash na impundu ne 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 bi bugam sauce. Vibe kaviri gata tu. Mugi aku rasmi nunggu apa nabi mana? Usung kira apa bapa bapa? Ni kom tato aku. Aku nak gengsen nabi nunggu anak aku. Even though I went the wrong way, I'm your child. Mereka kandi mana nunggu saya ibu saya semua saya ikut. And God is a good parent. He's not a bad parent. Suja muzi usung kira ngongori rakana kama kum kira ngwe semua disini suizu. Mesti nak isi ngonyo kau sini mungkin dia boleh. He's not the parent that you tell to buy you something. Ukam mugi rakamu kamu kari nusa kurja makai aku kira mabire isu. You ask them for one thing and they tell you all the history. Isi bukan go. Bana sipiwe. E bana yesu. Itakutukuza. Kwa kuwa. Wewe. Wana meza mene. Ya watesi wangu. Ha. 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 Ha.
Nós subiramos, aleluia. I don't know if everyone has the ears to hear God. These normal years are ears. I don't know if you have ears that hear God in your life. I don't know if you have eyes that see God. I don't know if you have eyes that see God. The ears that hear God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
Song. A song that says, 
The people who don't see it as normal. It is going to be of importance. Hallelujah. I have loved you. And may God bless you. Let us keep saying, I will not die, but I will live.
All the leaders and the singers in general, may God bless you. You guys did a good job preparing this event for us. May God bless you. We welcome our leaders. Let them stand so you can see. Let us clap to the Lord for them. May God be good to you for giving us this place. We gave it value. May God bless you. Amen. We have guests that we have invited and they listened to us. They accepted the invitation to prepare something and nobody attends. It does not look good. But we thank God the people that we invited that they have come. 
because they also took their times even though they're not here physically may God be good to you and may God take care of you and the social media team may God bless you let me read the word of God we are going to read in Acts chapter 10 verse 33 Acts Chapter 10, verse 33. Let us read in the name of Jesus. So I sent for you. Amen. And you have been kind enough to come. You guys did good to come and praise with us. May God be good to you. Let me welcome the singers that we invited. I won't introduce them there, Elder. Please come forward. Uh, we're also going to ask our preacher for today to please stand. I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself, say your names, what you do, so everybody can know you. So they won't be wondering who's that, who's that. Amen. 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 My name is Frank. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I attend Methodist Church. And our leader is Pastor Kudos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Pacific Elisa and I attend this church. May God bless you. My name is Buhoza Garabong. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. And I attend Rock of Salvation Church. Uh, pastor, my pastor's name is Amen. Amen. My, my name is Eric Nkuru. My name is Eric Nkuru Fashion. I live here. Uh, I put in Kuru, but that's not my full name. Uh, I attend Holy Nation Church and that's my pastor Felix. May God bless you. May God bless you. We welcome the servants of the Lord from Holy Nation. The pastors and the other members that they came with. Let us ask them to stand. Amen. 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 From hope. Let us ask them to stand so we can welcome them. May God bless and may you. God bless you. I don't know if there's anyone from San Antonio. Maybe they're not here yet. I see people from Lubbock. We are very happy to see you, brother. And we know you are one with the people here. They are going to talk about it next But we say welcome and we are very happy to hear May God bless you. Let us ask them to stand. 
I don't know if we have any guests that we have not yet introduced. Oh, Muriel Shaddai, I'm sorry. The people from El Shaddai Church will ask you to stand so we can go. May God bless you. There's also Let us ask we have a Please stand so we can walk. any other guests among us?
Isremani to Rangiraguja. Mamogi Poves, do Zamori to Ay. Wanasif you. Do it some of the guys. Each other and I give us. Amen. We are going to welcome the word of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah! 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 Let us do it once again. Let us raise the glory of God. You are worthy of it. Let us put our hands Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let me ask you to stand for one minute. Let us stand and say hallelujah. Please stand. Let us face our Let us Raise yes. your hand in that direction. Raise your hand straight forward. Let us face this way. Look at us. Take your things. Uriya wasize mu rugo. Hetsa maboko ya uya hetsa. Ha! Twagari rindirimwe. Mu buje bw'umwuka ari ibintu byabisambu. Zamura maboko ya uya hetsa. Utunge hano. Ha! Twarakari inyuma. The word of God does not say talk to Satan, it says fight him. Hallelujah! He came down from heaven. 
Frank yavuze ngo yaba nawe yagukuye ahandi nundi namukuye ahandi
God bless you. Let us hear the pastor from Holy Nation. Praying for the preacher of today. May God bless you. May God bless you. Urumami wabami, imani komeye, imana yo kwizega no kwiringirwa. Uko niko twari dushoboye ngo tukuramye tuguhimbaze. Nusubira kutwongera imbaraga turasubira kandi. Turagushima kubw'ineza yawe. Turagushima kubw'umwuka wawe mwise. Turagushima kuri presence yawe yagaragaye muri iki kibanze. Uhimbazwe kandi ushigwe hejuru wa mana we. Tukoretse umukozi wawe agiye kuvuga ijambo ryawe. Ijambo wa mushize mu kanwa kugira ngo ari butubwire ibijambo riri bihundura ubugingo bwacu ibijambo ry'ururutsi mitima iyagaze ibijambo ribasha kuza ari ijambo ry'umuri mu kibanza cyiza himbazwa mwami Yesu aba bantu bose baganditse aha hantu ugurura amatwi imitima kugira ngo bumve ijambo ryawe kandi baryigereho kuko ijambo ryawe rirakomeye ijambo ryawe niryo ridukiza dukiza kubwe ijambo ryawe Tumenya kubwe ijambo ryawe urakoze ni mwizina ryawe Yesu Amen Let's work with each other. I'm going to ask each person that is here to lift up their right hand. As we confess these uh, words. Your words are the ones that create us. And it creates us every day. And it is the one that created an eternal life for us. We thank you because your life in every aspect of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us read the Holy Scriptures. We're going to read the book of Psalms. Uh, we won't read it all. We'll only read verse 4. Evangelist. Joseph Adufashe, Zaburi Jana. We're going to ask our reader to help us. Psalms 100. Turahita Koduko Merezaho, Nigita Bochaba Filipi, Vichevita Tumurongo, Wagatatu. And we'll continue on to Philippians chapter 3. Zaburi Jana Murongo Wakane. Mwijiri Mare Boy Mushima, Nomovi Karibze Muhimbas. Mushima Musingi Zinarje. Amen. Aba Filipi bice bitatu murongo wa gatatu. Aba Filipi bice bitatu murongo wa gatatu. Yego. Kuko twebwe turaba turabakebwe gukebwa kwiza. Kuko twe turabakebwe gukebwa kwiza. Abasenga mu buryo bw'umwuka w'Imana. Abo ni bande bakebwe gukebwa kwiza na abasenga mu buryo bw'umwuka w'Imana. Tukishimira Kristo Yesu ntitwiringire iby'umubiri. Nubwo yeweho tukishimira Kristo we rejoice in Christ. And we, we leave behind the beliefs in flesh. And because I have reasons for confidence in the flesh, I have more. We thank God for this time so that we may rejoice in it. He did well. May he be glorified. Uh, we thank God that protected y'all uh, and protected me. And he protected us from different places that we were at. It is of great grace Praise God for that grace. I thank the church of Jesus is the fountain of life. Uh, you did well in choosing or um, allowing us to spend this time with you. To invite me to be with you, uh, may God bless you. Um, there's people that invite you, but they keep you on the they don't keep you on the loop. They gave me a driver. They gave me a hotel. Don't you think I'm uh, well taken care of? 
I don't know how we'll be feeding at 12. Uh, and I will uh, get to know how they are feeding the guests. Um, my, my purpose is not to let you know of this. Um, my purpose was to thank you for the value that you give to the servants of God. May God bless you. Shalom, may God bless you. You spent so many nights thinking about this day. May God bless you. Uh, pastor, may God bless you. And everyone that works with you. Um, if there is anyone that came afterwards, we welcome you. To so those that are following us, my name is Kennedy. This is my church. May God bless you. Last night we had a good time. I forgot to thank uh, our brethren that came from far. God did well in uh, bringing you. And you are blessing us. You are blessing us. May God bless you. Shema, welcome and God bless you. We were blessed last night. We're speaking about the word that God has put on our hearts. To worship God in the spirit. Um, I will use a little bit of uh, strength because I, I, I feel it like that. But what I'm speaking about is very powerful. This word that says to worship God in the spirit. It is the uniqueness of God. Of God. There is a lot of people that worship. But those that touch God's heart is those that worship in the spirit. Bonnie said that uh, you must differentiate your worship. I, I wanted to say that your worship must be different. But when will it be different? It is that you have to worship in the spirit. To worship in the spirit, please listen to it. It is the uniqueness from God. There are also people that sing in that way, uh, in that manner. Uh, there is a way that God created a person. In our creation, the way we were created, we are created in, in, in a way of worship. We are molded in worship. That is why uh, Satan is an enemy. He's able to cover the, the, the thoughts of those that worship God. They worship, but they, they're not worshiping God. He gives them a way to worship. But they worship other gods. Uh, yesterday I said that Job also said it. He said that even idols, they know that they're not God. By themselves, they know that they're not gods. The God that the earthly people pray, they know that they're not God. Even if idols know that, uh, that they're not God, why do people worship them? And that is the confusion that, we're, that we were talking about. That is why 
If you're not worshiping God, you are worshiping something else. Because every person that was created, it is through worship. If you don't worship God, they have something else that they worship. There is nobody that can live without worshiping. There is no one that can live without worshiping that doesn't worship. I thank God because we worship God. We talked about uh, Psalms 100. We spoke about a lot of things in regards to Those it. Those that were here uh, were blessed to study it. Um, if you wanted to, you would have given school fees because that is the way it is taught in school. Uh, but because we're friends, I taught you for free. Uh, nobody knows who wrote it. That person is not known. Even the time that it was written is estimated. Um, the, the years that they're guesstimating about is in the 800 when the church was destroyed. Um, they, were, they, they had gotten to a land and they were building the temple. And, and they caused the person that sung it after a long time uh, that is full of... Uh, of tiredness. Problems and slavery in uh, Babylon. It, causes, it caused him to sing. If the church is fully built. Come in his gates worshiping him. Come through his gates Thanking God. We talked about seven things that are concerning this. Uh, this I'm not going to teach it because of time. But I want to say it briefly. The first thing. Um, this psalm shows us that it's, it is a responsibility of everyone to come in the church. And this destroys the reason behind technology. A person that believes in God. And a person that doesn't believe in God. And in the small time that you have of life. Find time to come in the house of God. Because worshiping God in the spirit, it causes us to live in the holy uh, uh, service. This is the hatred of Satan. If he's about to take you forever, he takes you far from service. Why? The scripture says those that refuse to gather, those that refuse to gather, they were destroyed. They will be destroyed. When we gather, what does the singer say? To, uh, their, their, their Li livelihood um, they're gathering their fellowship they, um, they advise each other so that they avoid sinning they, they have peace Satan is the enemy he hates for us to gather technology is good to have a TV in the house is good. You can use it um, Monday to Friday. But Sunday, do not sit in the front of, of the TV and forget about gathering. To worship God in the spirit. It, uh, it commands of us to go in, uh, and gather. It commands us to go in the house of the Lord. If you were defeated on that, you are getting closer to being gone forever. 
The second thing. Yigisha buri wese kwatuzakanwa kw'Imana ikomeye. Um, it teaches a person to confess with their own mouth that God is mighty. The third thing. It, causes, it teaches a person to thank God. The fourth thing. Uh, it teaches a person that it, it is their responsibility to shout for the Lord. Um, no, uh, hear it well. There is a difference in making noise for God and also shouting for the Lord. Learn how to shout for the Lord. Stop making noise to the Lord. It is a confusion. Uh, when they tell you to shout for the Lord, everybody's hitting their mouth. Learn how to shout for the Lord. And that is a sign of victory. This, uh, the following thing. It is uh, everyone's responsibility to have something to do for the Lord. Uh, it is everyone's responsibility to have something to do for the Lord. The following thing. Everyone must know who is the God. Uh, the, the following thing. God wants us to compliment him. Uh, we added a bonus. We must approach where God is. We spoke about it yesterday. Differentiate going to the house of the Lord and going to where God is. Because every house that is called a house of God is not uh, where God is. It is very important for you to leave the, the aspect of going to the house of God um, and you approach God. And that is what we spoke about yesterday. Uh, let me explain what we are studying. Worship. In, in different times since the world was created. That caused a lot of um, disputes. It caused um, wars between tribes. Um, these days we have we still have that problem even if we think it's not um, it's not we don't have that problem um, you see that uh, Christianity and um, Islam is is there is there's a there's a war in between okay um, but um, religion shouldn't separate us, but um, our f we should stand firm in our faith. What did I want to say on that part? Uh, this thing called worship, it is a war that has been lively in, uh, throughout generations. Even today as we speak, it is still a, a war. Uh, let me start from um, a long time ago. In the times of disciples, the world was divided into two parts. Uh, there was a part called uh, Greeks. And there were Jews that walked uh, according to the laws and believed that their God is, is the only God. When we say that there was a part of uh, Greeks, we are not speaking about the people from Greek. 
But we're speaking about the foreigners in that time. All the people that were in the world that weren't Jews. Um, in the technical term, they were all called Greeks. It, this thing called worship God revealed it um, showing it like the way Jews were doing it do you remember it in Egypt? God revealed that he's a, he's a God above all gods. In Egypt, there were 12 uh, idols. There were 10 gods in the time of Moses. All those ten gods from Egypt. Um, the, uh, the god that was above all the gods were Pharaoh. Um, that is why um, in, in the fight that God had to do, he had to defeat Pharaoh last. Because to the Egypt at that time, because they believed that the, in, in all creation there's no one greater than Pharaoh. In the fight that God had to fight, when all the gods were fighting to see who is a god above others, the god of Egypt, Jews, he fought in his godliness. But it's in his fight, he was fighting so he can be above the gods of Egypt. Uh, the day that he hit the god of light, and the whole uh, uh, the whole country was uh, darkened because they believed in the light uh, in the God of light. They believed that the light was God. When God fought with the light, He caused darkness. When the Egyptians looked at it, they saw that there is a God that challenged their God. Um, this, uh, this, this thing that uh, was able to defeat God, the light, how mighty is, is it? This thing that uh, was able to defeat the God of light Maybe it is greater than our God. In that sign, God had revealed himself. Um, you remember that he, he, he got to a point of fighting to, uh, with the God of water. Uh, Nile was uh, the God of uh, Egypt. Uh, they prayed for, uh, to a spirit called Leviathar. They prayed to that spirit. They believed that water is above all gods. Remember the day that God turned it into blood. Uh, the next morning when they woke up, the water that they believed they had, it didn't have any use anymore. When they looked at it, they saw that there's a God that challenged them. There's that they, they saw that there's a God that is above their God. Uh, and that was a time where there was a war of worship. Uh, to the time that God told Moses, He told Moses, Moses, even to this God of Egypt, that is you, this God called Pharaoh, I will, I will numb his heart to the day that I would hit him. Uh, to the day that Egyptians will see that Pharaoh is nothing. To, 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 to see how powerful the Pharaohs were. In Egypt, they didn't take them as usual people. Even if they died, uh, they used to bury them in the pyramids. Um, in the pyramid, there was uh, little houses. 
That time in Egypt, there was a high technology. Um, that caused them to keep a, a corp for a long time. Um, mummification. Oh, to, uh, it is called mummification. Uh, the spirit that they gave to that corpse so that that corpse is not destroyed. Why did the Egyptians do this? Why did they do them to specific people? Or, uh, these people called the pharaohs. They believed that even if the pharaohs died, their spirit it will continue to communicate with the country. Uh, they believe that the spirit, uh, their spirit, even if they die, they will keep on worshiping it. To the day that God uh, allowed to kill the firstborn of Egypt, this was God fighting the value that the firstborn had in Egypt, a God hitting the firstborn. In Egypt, they believe that the firstborn, there's nothing above that firstborn. I want to tell you that because of the creation of God, that thing that you create, that, that you idolize, he will hit it because he's God. Um, there's things that we had, uh, we made firstborn but there is only one Why does, what does the Bible tell us he is the firstborn in and resurrection he is and he is the, the, the heritage of all the creation the thing that you made a firstborn it may be hid learn about it what did I want to say on this part? When God had done this in Egypt, to the time that he was able to push them into the sea, this was the time when God wanted to reveal the God above all God. Um, this was a war to show who must be worshipped. Who must be worshipped? Who must be glorified? That time, the Egyptians, when they saw that uh, what their God did, uh, they accepted that their God is above all gods. What, uh, when did God do this? Um, to accept to be the God of Egyptians. He would have came when uh, he called Abraham. And he told him, I'm, I'm about to have an oath with you. A covenant that is above all covenants. And he told Abraham, all the covenants, it has a, a, a unification which is called blood. And he, uh, he told Abraham, he told him, build me a sacrifice. Sheeps and cows, uh, kill them and burn them. Um, all the things that fly like a bird, put them on the, on the altar, but do not kill them. But uh, God told him, do this so we can have an oath. This covenant that I'm talking about, this is, it is a covenant. If you make for me that sacrifice, and you put the sheep and cows, we will have a covenant that you're my tribe. When God had concluded that, he told Abraham that I, I am pleased with that. But, but, 
I want to have a covenant with your offsprings. And your, uh, the covenant that, will, that I will have with your offsprings, it is a covenant of eternity. Um, and God told him, but even though, there must be blood shed so that I can put a stamp on that covenant you must be circumcised and blood must be shed all the people that will come from you they will be circumcised because if you do it we would have the greatest covenant this place that we read in Philippians, uh, Paul, uh, Paul wrote to the Philippians. And he was writing at that time they had a big issue. Uh, people were going to Gaza. Uh, 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 they were going back to their old habits. Uh, breeders of the Bible, uh, the, the scripture in uh, Galatians, what does Paul tell the Galatians? He told them, who cursed you? Who cursed you, you Galatians? You were revealed God um, on, on the cross. You were told God the way he is. And you received the Holy Spirit just like he is. Who is taking you back? At that time, the church had a big problem. Um, there were people coming from Jerusalem going to teach uh, habits or traditions of the Jews. And when they got to Gal uh, Galatians, um, they told them, uh, you cannot be accepted by God unless you're circumcised. You cannot be accepted in the presence of God without cleaning yourself. And that is called to go back in your old habits. When Paul had found out the news where he was, and he wrote, uh, he wrote a letter saying, who cursed you Galatians? All those traditions that you were taking to so those that are in Christ were not people of tradition. And he answered the question. And he was able to answer it in the, in the letter that he wrote to Philippians. And he told them, indeed, to be circumcised to the flesh, it is right to the Jews. But to those that believe in God, to those that believe in God, you Philippians, we were circumcised well. We were circumcised well. And our good circumcision, it is not the circumcision of blood and of the body. It is not the circumcision of the body. And he told them us, we pray in the spirit. Us our circumcision it is different from others we pray in the spirit we worship we worship in the spirit these things that the Jews are telling you it is true indeed. But there is something that you haven't been revealed. There is, there is a truth that you haven't been told. There is news that you haven't been told. Because being circumcised in the spirit. It is greater than being circumcised in the body. And he told them us. Our circumcision is greater than theirs. Because we worship in the spirit. 
church of God today I want to tell you that there is one thing to have faith on it is to, to worship God in the spirit what does John say he says that the time is now and that the time is near that um, those that worship God they must change they must shift. They must move. The time is now and the time is near. To, uh, to those that believe in God, they must move. Um, and they leave the mountains of Zim. And they leave the mountains of Samaria. And they shift. And they, and they worship God in the spirit. They worship God in the spirit. Those that have faith, they must move. They must move. Uh, they must move from praying God on a mountain. And that is the problem that we have today. People refuse to shift. Their worship. It is things that are tangible. I will. Uh, I will. I will. I will dispute this word. What is worship? When we say worship, what are we talking about? What we call worship, it is different from what we live in today. This, this is good. We, we, we put slow songs. Um, don't you hear that we say those people that are singing slow songs they're worshipping the, uh, that is not called worship it is not worship slow songs don't mean you're worshipping uh, slow songs do you know what it means it is the, the strength of doctrine. The, uh, the, the secret of doctrine. Um, and it causes us to, uh, when, when we have slow songs, we, we, we become very nice. Um, and those people that only close their eyes when they're about to sleep, they close their eyes. Worshiping God has nothing concerning slow songs. What is worship? This is what Paul was talking about. He was telling the Philippians. He told them that we have shifted. We are not you cannot find us in traditions. We're not in doctrines. We have moved away from doctrines. The time has come to uh, so those that worship they must move to the spirit to worship God in the spirit what is it it is to do something very well it is to perfect what you do that is different from singing and that is called a lifestyle and that is called living a life everything that you do you do it well Yes, Praise the Lord. This is what is called worship. Whatever you do, you do it well. This thing, it is, uh, uh, it is in all domains of life. I would come back to those songs once again. When we're singing them, let us try and touch God's heart. It may be fast, 
but it's worshiping God. Uh, to worship God, it is to perfect everything that we do. It is two words. To worship God, it is to do everything that you do, and you do it well. This is a, a global term. This is a theological term. It is different from doctrines. It is different from traditions. Uh, to worship God, it is to do whatever you do, and you do it well, and it blesses people. Uh, your worship, look for it in these two things. The first thing, know that um, whatever you're doing, are you doing it well? After doing it, is there blessing people? Please search yourself as you're worshiping. Am I doing it well? If I did it well, can it bless people? The ushers, if you're uh, sitting people, if you're doing it well, you're worshiping God. Uh, parents that gave birth, uh, do not take your kid from uh, breastfeeding if they didn't, be, if they didn't uh, refuse it. Because when you breastfeed the kid, you're worshiping God. To worship God, it is to do whatever you do well. As you're dancing for the Lord, make sure that your, your steps do not uh, cause an injury to someone else. You're dancing and, um, and hitting people anyhow. To worship God, your, wor your worship, it is to do things well. And it blesses people. Where did all the burdens that the church is carrying came from? It is all the things that we do. And it is done in the house of God. But it's not done well. If you remember uh, those that were with me in Arizona, that word, um, we spoke about uh, the secret that lies in knowing how to do things well. The church of, God, of Christ, the difference in knowing things is knowing how to do them well. But, and you must know that it blesses others. It must, uh, it, it must gladden God's heart. But it also must bless people. And that is worship. Amen. Amen. All the services that you give. Take away your anger. And that is worship. People are tired. God puts you there so people can rest uh, on your shoulder. Your good voice, it may, uh, it may calm them down. You are a servant of God wherever God puts you. You have a great, a, a great responsibility to worship God wherever you are. Whatever you do, do it well, and that is called worship. Amen. 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 
Um, these uh, two kids home uh, there was a lot of fights during that time but let me tell you to live with a person that God gave you well it is to worship God worship God in every aspect of life uh, the parents that give little to people uh, to be stingy as a Christian um, when you cook please feed them till they have leftovers when they finish and say God bless you you would be a good worshiper in the kitchen and make sure that when you're cooking put put salt that won't cause us to choke there's people that uh, season their food um, and you wonder if they're seasoning for people or for uh, cows. Can you imagine um, if, if there's people that uh, cook small portions. They cook small portions. To worship God, it is to do th everything that you do, do it well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is to do everything and you make sure that it's done well. There's other people that they have been confused by outfits. They have been confused. Uh, the, the spirit of dressing bad. It is a spirit that the church must fight uh, above all other spirits. I generation Z. Um, I know that we won't uh, agree with the Gen Z generation. Um, because they have other reasons than to look good. Let me tell you. To dress is one thing. And to dress well is another thing. Uh, to dress, uh, uh, dressing that uh, blesses the Lord. It is a, a way of dressing that worships God. If you look at the way that you worship, do you think you're worshiping? What does Paul say? Things have changed. If they see your works, if they see your, your, your lifestyle, let it cause people to thank God. The, the world won't sing because we sing. The, the world won't pray because we pray. that we have danced, um, it is enough. Uh, what will cause the world to be like us? If they see the way that you live, if you're dressed, that place that you go to, brethren, please dress like a worshiper. When you go outside, if they looked at you outside, would they say that you're a worshiper? Um, I, I, I want to say that fashionists say that the first impression is the way you're dressed. The first tongue that we speak is our, our, our dressing. When a person sees the way you're dressed, it causes them to speak. It speaks to them. Yes. 
when you dress, do you dress like a worshiper? What is worship? It is whatever you do to do it well. Please clap for the Lord. Our conference, it is called praise and worship. I, I, I am I'm breaking a secret. Shift from things that are not it. Worship in the spirit. Amen. 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 Um, I was about to say something, but I'm, I'm very defeated by it. I'm late to uh, gatherings. I'm defeated by it a lot. I'm going to leave it because it is hard for me. But it has a lot of news behind. <laughs> um, to say it, and I come late often. May God forgive me and enable me to be early next time. May he enable me to do it next time. But what I want to say in this is that to respect or obey the time to come early or late it is to a worship God. Um, to worship God, it is in the little aspect of life. There is a singer in this choir. The church starts at 9. But they come at 10. And it's like two of them. <laughs> you are not worshiping. Um, wise folks say two things. 80% of the time, the people, uh, people respect the, um, the plans that they have with other people. And 15%. It is people that respect their own plans. What is greater, the program that we have with another person or the program that we have with ourselves? Let us talk to each other. The plans that we have with others I have a plan to meet with pastor. And I have a plan to meet myself. What is the greatest one? It is very hard to respect the plans that you have with others if you don't respect your own. Um, in, in our heads, there is a lot of nerves pulled. We like to respect plans we have with others. But the people that are great in worship, they, they, they respect meeting themselves instead of others. The word of God is a combination of many things. Um, what makes, what assures you that there's uh, mighty things that you cannot do in the house of the Lord. Even the time to eat, you don't have a specific time that you eat. And you want God to give you sheep that you can lead. You don't have a specific time that you eat. Um, the, the food for the night, you eat it at 1 a.m. 
you have eaten for sure. But there's something that you killed. You spend the whole day on the phone. And you remember to eat your lunch at 5 p.m. You refuse to respect yourself in the small details. Um, but you have spent so much time begging God to give you things, mighty things to do. And why, why did I say these things? God cannot use you for mighty things. Being a weakly in the, in, in the easy thing. God cannot use you for mighty things and you have lost the principles of the small details. Uh, the mighty things God does, he used the mighty people for it. Learn how to do things well. And that is the true worship. But add upon that, it is blessing God and it blesses people and that is true worship it is in all aspect of life it is here as we sing it is also outside uh, wherever we are in a different place let us live in that manner. Let me ask you to stand up as we pray. There's things that you were defeated in doing and it defeated you and it defeats you a lot of times. But I want to spill this secret to you. Uh, there's no one that was defeated while trying. Please try again. It is possible for the glory of God to be lifted through you in that time. What is required of you? Do things well. That is the difference in being a man. It is the difference in being a woman. It is the difference in, in a good life. It is to do things well. And that is the true worship. And that is the worship that blesses God. I'm going to ask you this evening. Tell God to forgive you for the things that you don't do well. Let your spirit dwell upon me so that I can do things well. Um, if you feel like you want to try, um, it, it, it's not a problem. Uh, what you refuse to give time refuse to give you fruits. What you refuse to give time, it will refuse to give you the fruits. It is your responsibility to do things well.
Please lift up your right hand as we pray. Forgive me for the things that I don't do well. Forgive me for the things that I do uh, that, that I don't do in the right manner. Let your spirit dwell upon me. Let it enable me to do things well. Because that is the true worship. True worship. It is to do things well. Enable us to do things well. Enable us to put things in the right manner. Where we are to call to lead. Let us lead well. Wherever we put our hands on. Let us do it well. Because that is the worship. That is worthy of you. Please take some time and close your eyes and think. Look to where you don't do things well. Look to where you don't do things in the right manner. Um, and tell God that I'm ready to do it. I thank you God because you're gifting me with doing things well in the mighty name of Jesus May God bless you. There's another invited guest that we have. Uh, May God bless you. Thank you for accepting our invitation. May God bless you. I'm going to ask for Shema to come forward. So he can also be a part of the service. May God bless you. Uh, we don't know the reason he was a bit late. But for him to be here, uh, let him also do something. Let him make life fire in the service. I don't know the choir from us. Changwa San Antonio or San Antonio. Abahari. Okay, the Kansabe Nugunda Watumir Guanabo. Let me ask our invitees. Turaba Koresha Murihanga, and I will continue to have a Tumiri. Let us clap for the Lord. Let us clap for the Lord.
Prochainement, Christia, tu es muri San Antonio. Avant de se muri Globo Gospel Church, Mushumba Mukuru, Amita Pastor Chris. Tu as dit que tu es un peu plus de temps. Tu as dit que
adorar mereka. Wamusara baikore.
because of the time that was ready, nobody will, somebody but will be allowed to come to the door. They can give you the paper and you can leave. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Let us not be of religious doctors. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit. They said even in eating, do it Do it as a way to praise God. There are some people who don't who eat in the way that does not glorify God. If there is something that I search for and I can't find, it is the time to back up other singers. My singers, when I go behind and I listen to others sing, I love it. Because it is not often. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> You guys should also tell us to wear people are going to go to there's a song that says, Because I He's doing good. He's playing the piano well. But when he gets to the guitar, he goes yeah. Let us clap for these two. Since Frank is singing, let him play the song for us. He's my joy is that I sing so much when I get home I can't eat. Prepare yourself. Let the conference now And if you're sitting by someone and you see they are good, Fly from them, go away from them. Laziness spreads. Eh? Movies. Don't you know that? In Arizona, that's what they say. Why don't you say that? 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 Why don't you Tell them be a blessing. Let them be a blessing. Let them be a blessing. Let 
May God bless you. Let us talk for the Lord. As they're coming forward, may God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Girango Zazaga Honda Tazakuzi Chanibunga and Awakis, Kandi Muga Kisagi.
We see that you are physically here. Let us give glory to God. This church is amazing. This is a big church. I hear it a lot. 
They still teach the word of God here? I am amazed by this church. Let us give glory to God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Anybody that hates going to heaven. Anybody who hates going to heaven. I don't know what else they like. If you hate going to heaven. Now. Let us give them two minutes to dance. Let us clap for the Lord. Okay, my machine I am and a chang and I have a couple of years. Do she me, man? Let me just give you two announcements. The first one is we are overjoyed for you. Greet the one that we are happy to see you. We are still happy to see you. And anyone who goes home, uh, they will be missing something great. It's like we are still at the introduction of the service. The early time that we'll leave, leave here is 2 a.m. I welcome the brethren from Austin and all the different areas they come from. We invited you. You are a guest. We'll give you appropriate time. We are in the right time to take food to eat. Because we want to spend a lot of time here, we'll use a little time out there. Because we're going to eat in our seats, make sure that where you are eating is clean. We are going to use one hour and minutes. sorry. It is two. <laughs> We are going to come back 3.15. The singers will be here on stage. After we come back, after, after, after eating, this stage is not for anyone. Anybody who grabs the microphone. Because 
because managing all these people that are filled with the spirit, only God himself can control them. You will sing in however long you sing after you finish your gifts. This is a praise and worship event. There's no other difference. We will sing in here Frank, Bonke, and Shema. And we're going to use the word that David said, everything that is with me, praise God. And we're going to use the word that David said, everything that is with me, praise God. David said, everything that is with me, praise God. Everything that is possible to praise God, we're going to use. Everything that is possible to praise God, we're going to use. Everything that is possible to praise God, we're going to use. Everything let me pray and then protocol will show you the way to go. Bana data turagushimiye kubwo uyu mwanya mwiza. Turagushima ko wabanye natwe kuva dutangiye kuba tugejeje amasaha ukiri kumwe natwe. Izina ryawe rihabwe icubahiro. Wakoze kubana natwe. Wakoze kuri kumwe natwe. Wakoze gukomezanya natwe. Ubwiza bwawe buraha hantu. Ibendera ryo kukuramye no kuguhimbaza ryashinzwe kuri uyu musozi muri iyi weekend ma dukomeje kuvuga ngo ushimwe kandi uhimbaza warakoze kuturema warakoze kutugirira neza warakoze kuduha impano warakoze gutuma tukumenya warakoze kuduha Yesu utuma tumuramya umunsi kuwundi tugiye gufata ifunguro uri umugisha umugisha imibirige kuri fata abari tegwe ibaho umugisha umuntu wese ari mugwe neza uyu mwanya mwiza nawo tuvane mwo nawe mwami Yesu urakoze kuko komeza kubana natwe ni mwizina rya Yesu Kristo